Um, it was extremely challenging last night for our staff, um, de dealing with temperatures that are nearly minus 40. Uh, we experienced a ton of uh, equipment failures, vehicle breakdowns. Um, it was just challenging working in, in the cold overall. Uh, so last night we uh, repaired a cracked rail at 51st Avenue. Um, so it was extremely challenging because basically we had to disassemble the, the crossing pad by hand and then we had to put joint bars across the rail to, to fix the rail. Just so the cracked rail at 51st Avenue, we have a, a temporary repair in place. Um, so we'll go back in and do the permanent repair in the spring when it's a little bit warmer. Last night around one in the morning, we had a uh, piece of cracked rail that occurred at 34th Avenue. Um, so the plan is for our crew to go in and repair that rail tonight. Uh, so we're gonna have crews on site at 7 p.m. And our goal is to have the repair complete by about four in the morning. We learned some tips and tricks from working in the cold last night, so we're hoping things go smoother and we can finish quicker and there's going to be zero service impacts to, to the public. Be, That's yeah, our I goal. Think, uh, um, so I just would like to highlight it's been 10 years since we've had a piece of cracked rail occur in our system and we've never ever had it occur in a grade crossing. So this is the first time we've ever experienced that. Um, we're not expecting this to happen anymore. We're hoping we're through the worst of it, through the coldest temperature. And yes, we do think that the cracks are related to, to temperature. Uh, last night, we, we had a fairly small crew, so there was no sitting in the truck. Um, so basically, we had extra pairs of gloves in the trucks that people could go take or, or go take micro breaks in the truck. But for the most part, everybody was outside pushing through, through the cold weather, uh, trying to get the repair done. Personally, myself, I know I had on long underwear, pants, and then insulated work pants. And then I had on a couple jackets, a sweater, um, a shirt, a toque with a hood over top, and then three pairs of gloves to try and keep my hands warm.